Hey guys and welcome to RuneScape Efficiency Tips and this one is all about cooking. So I'm going to show you guys a method of cooking that's called 3 tick cooking and um, the normal cooking that I'm doing right now, I'm sitting here and I'm AFKing and I'm cooking a fish ev once every 4 ticks. And there is a way to actually cook fish once every 3 ticks which obviously makes it faster experience per hour. At, if you um, are 94 plus when you can always cook sharks you can get up to 360k experience per hour doing 3 tick cooking. Whereas if you were to do regular cooking, it would max out around 250 to 300kxp per hour. So it's a pretty significant increase, but it is not AFK. So you have to take that into account. Whether you want to um, AFK and get less experience or not AFK and get more experience, it's always the trade-off. But I'm going to show you guys the most efficient way to train your cooking. So before we get started, one thing, to, or a few things actually to keep in mind. First of all, cooking gauntlets. I'm sure you guys know what they are. Wear them at all times when you're cooking. You, you need cooking gauntlets. So if you don't have them, then go get them. Unless you're a skiller or something, you can't, then I guess you can't use them. But if you can get them, get them. Very important to have. Um, and second of all, this isn't this in itself isn't like a 1 to 99 cooking guide or anything like that. I may make one in the future. Let me guys know. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do that. Um, but this is just going to be about a method of cooking that applies to any type of fish, basically. So you can do this method of cooking at any level, but... Um, I'm going to get into how exactly to do it, so I'm going to clear my inventory and start with a new one. And the way it works is you want to use the fish in the fire, cook one, you want to cook two fish, and then start your cooking again. And if you notice and you look closely, I actually am cooking a fish once every three ticks instead of once every four ticks. And I'll show you guys, if I cook two fish, after the second fish there's a delay. And then you get into the normal four tick cooking pattern. So for whatever reason in the game code, you cook your first two fish, in three ticks and then after that you cook every fish in four ticks so I'll show you guys in the next one if I go back to, to three ticking it goes to three tick and you notice that the character is speeding up and if you compare if you do this and somebody else is cooking next to you you can compare and see that normally there's a one tick break when the, the character stands still before cooking with this you're constantly cooking so it's a 33 percent increase in XP per hour one third faster basically which is pretty significant so that's it. That's the method in its entirety, really. And as far as locations, this is the best the best spot to be, Rogsden. So at the moment, I am using mouse keys to do this, and I have it set to the drop down for banking, which also is cook all. So it works out pretty well. And I just messed up there. So you have to you do have to keep yourself focused when doing this. It's not like really intense, but it's just it's constant rather than sitting there for like a couple minutes AFK and cooking. But I am just using a, a mouse keys uh, setup to do this. But you can, if you don't want to use mouse keys, it is possible if you put your mouse in right about here over the raw shark text, you can right click, left click, and you'll be on cook 5, which works just as well. So you can do it pretty easily without mouse keys if you just do this. So if you don't have mouse keys, you don't know how to set them up, or you um, just would prefer not to use them, then you can do this pretty easily without mouse keys, but you ju it just takes a bit of getting used to. I'm used to doing it. I keep, I keep clicking the 1 because I'm used to doing it with... Uh, with mouse keys, but if you get your mouse placement set up right, then you should pretty easily be able to do this without mouse keys. So if you don't have mouse keys, don't worry, because you can still get the uh, three tick cooking pretty easily. So if you choose to three tick cook from um, level 80 to level 99, that and alone it will save you about 10 hours of cooking. If you three tick, it'll take you around 30 to 35 hours. If you four tick, it'll take you 40 to 45 hours. So a nice 10 hours saved right there, just from 80 to 99. And if you choose to 3 tick all the way to 200 mil cooking, it's going to end up saving you almost 200 hours. Originally, with 4 tick cooking, it would be about 750 hours. And um, with 3 tick cooking, it's closer to 550 hours. So pretty significant amount of time saved, and it's really quite efficient to do this. And you're making 360k XP per hour and profiting. So it's a really great way to get your XP up, and that's why so many people train cooking past 99 is because it's good for experience and you even profit with it. So um, I guess that's about it for this uh, RuneScape efficiency tips. Not really anything else worth saying. If you would like me to do a 1-99 to cooking guide, I would be happy to do that at some point. So leave a comment below if you'd like to see that. It wouldn't be too complicated, but I guess I could just show what fish to cook at what levels and a few different places that are decent for cooking, depending on uh, your build and where you can go and stuff like that. So if you guys would like to see that, leave a comment below. And that's going to be about it. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you guys soon with a new video. I'd appreciate a like if this helped you out. And um, if you want to see more videos like this, then feel free to hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys soon with a new video.